Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Mark on 3D, and today we're going to do a very brief overview on how to use a texture and projection paint it onto a surface. Now, if you want to help me out, please hit that like button just to boost those YouTube algorithms. So first things first, I'm going to delete the default cube as always. Shift A, let's add in a plane because I want to paint on a plane and create a new texture. From here, I'm going to come into the materials, new material, and I'm just going to call this here, let's come up into shading, shift A down the bottom and image texture. I'm gonna plug that into the base color. From here, I'm gonna create a new texture and I will call this one hair as well. 1024 by 1024 should be fine and I'm gonna press okay. So now I've got our material applied to the texture. From here, I'm gonna come up into texture paint at the very top. Let's come into textures, create a new brush and I'm gonna open up an image. And this image I took of a friend's head. He was a little bit confused why I was taking an image of the back of his head, but anyway. So because this plane is already UV unwrapped, I can just scroll out so we can see it on the left. I'm gonna press numpad seven to go into top view. From here, we've got our drawing brush selected. I'm gonna scroll over until we get to texture, tiled and stencil. And so now when I bring the cursor into here, we can see our uh, head photo. From here, I can press right click and we can drag that image around. I can press control and right click to rotate it and shift and right click to scale it. So what I'm gonna do first is just zoom in a bit and kind of just put that image in the top here. Let's start off by putting it in the center there and I'm just gonna quickly paint it on. And then we can see that the texture over there on the left hand side is what we kind of want, but we want a little bit better quality. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit and move it over, right click. And then I'm just gonna kind of quickly block it all out maybe Maybe that's a little bit too far out. So let's come out like this, scroll out a little bit. And so the top half here will be kind of like this light color and then it'll go dark into the bottom. I'm gonna kind of go through the whole plane and just quickly do this. And we can see that it's very spotty over there on the left. Let's just zoom in a bit. What we can do is I can zoom in even more to get a little bit of extra detail, move it around. And this time I'm gonna bring the strength down and then kind of just painting a little bit by little bit on just to kind of break that around. Ideally, I probably should have put the phone a little bit closer to the back of his head, but I think all in all, that's fine. So let's bring that up there-ish. And so what this is doing is giving us different sizes of hair. And there we have it. We've created a quick texture from one photo. Let's just go image, save image as, and hair. So now that image has been saved. If you found this useful, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content. If there's anything else you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment down below.